Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a little manga haul that's very fun and fresh. So I live in Toronto and yesterday I went with my friend downtown and we're there's more bookstores so I took the opportunity and I went to like all the bookstores that had manga in the area I was in um, so I got a few uh, volumes and I'm super excited to show you what I got also I am so happy I purchased from locally because it is so much better than shopping at Indigo and if anyone doesn't know what Indigo is it's like a Barnes and Noble of Canada and Indigo is just so frustrating like don't even get me started like I am such an indigo anti but like at the same time they have got a lot of my money so yeah shopping locally is just 1010% times better and my experience yesterday was just so amazing that like I'm like I, indigo I don't know her like bye girl bye it's, it's pretty heavy I've got quite a bit I don't even know where to start. So the first bookstore I went to was called Silver Snail, the Silver Snail, and luckily I I literally I never grabbed something so quickly in my life. Um, I don't know if you can see it over there. I have some fruits baskets volumes, but I'm missing quite a bit because it's always out of stock on Amazon and in Indigo. But look what I found: volumes six, fruit basket, the collector's edition. Volume 8 and Volume 12, the final one. So now I'm only missing Volume 5 and 7 and then I'll have the complete collector's edition. Like, I don't know if it's everywhere or is it just in Canada, but it's like very difficult to find the collector's edition. Like anything higher than like Volume 3 or 4, like it's difficult. So when I saw these at the bookstore, I never grab something so quickly in my life. Look what I got. She's sick. She's sick. <laughs> I just find it super relaxing reorganizing my shelves all the time. So I can't wait to fit these in right over there with my other fruits basket. This bookstore I went to was a used bookstore and I was hoping to find some like really good like vintage like deals. Couldn't there wasn't really a lot though. It's called the B and B. Um um, used bookstore and it's like on like Young Street um, shout out to anyone from Toronto that they'll know <laughs> like right next to uh, Ryerson anyways so I really wanted to buy something there and like you know when you really want to buy something but you don't really see anything that really catches your eye so I ended up getting um, volumes 0 1 0 1 and 2 of um honey blood so it's about vampires and vampires in high school i don't know i i see the i see vampires and like you know what i probably like it i have some weird obsession with vampires so i'm gonna try it out it was pretty cheap so i don't mind buying these kind of on a whim um hopefully i end up really liking them but we'll see about it honey blood volume zero to two that was in there in the store yeah um the manga selection there was very selective and like pretty poor i'm not gonna lie but i'm like i'm not surprised it's just used books so it's wh whoever sell resells it over there whoever resells it back to that store it's what they have so it's nothing particular but i was happy to go there um i always like going to used bookstores just to see if you may find like a really like good rare find so hopefully i like these yeah <laughs> been more of a whim so the last store i went to um i think was like the best one um just due to variety and like customer service was like the person working there knew his shit about manga like i was like damn like just lead the way and like there was really good uh manga selection there like it is not like the biggest store but like what they carry is like what people want you know what i mean <laughs> um and they go like bro they have shelves and shelves but majority of it i'm like i don't care about it so yeah i went to um page and panel the tcaf shop in toronto which is 
Hashtag Sichuano reference public library um, Also side note if you are from Toronto and you don't want to buy manga, but you would want to read it digitally Toronto Public Library like online digitally have a lot of um, a lot of manga and like I highly suggest you check it out because I was actually shocked when I checked it out like I went to go um, look on the Toronto Public Library digital website and seeing how many stories there were there damn like it's an affordable way that also supports the Toronto Public Library so I highly suggest that and I feel like where you're from definitely check your, your local libraries you can save money and you're also again supporting your local libraries so shout out to the Toronto Public Library but yeah I bought the most here because they just had a variety and I had to put away so much manga that because like I I would have gone broke if I just bought everything I wanted there so I limited myself so first store we got I was very excited because I I don't know if anyone knows this probably not but I am like a huge like um, Rumiko Takahashi fan mainly because of Inuyasha I also love Mizani Koku which is a one like I love that story as well so like I um, have a mission to collect everything Rumiko Takahashi has created so I have um, all of Inuyasha I have um, five of the special collector edition of Maison Koku and then I have um, two volumes of Rome in one half and oh yeah I have Mao and I have Rene and I have Mermaid Saga and I have like a lot of let's just say I have a lot of Rumiko Takahashi and so I was missing the story and luckily I found it so I got volumes, let me put these in order, volumes 1, volume 2, and volume volume 3 of One Pound Gospel, which is a story about, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I have never read it, I don't know much about it, but it's a story about a nun and a boxer falling in love, I'm pretty sure. So I'm super excited to read this. There's one more volume. Um, hopefully it's not too out of print, the last volume, because I would really like to have a complete set. Um, but yeah, I just love Rumiko Takahashi and I can't wait, wait to read this. I'm super excited. Yeah, so One Pound Gospel volumes 1, 2, and 3. I'm super excited. Next. Uh, House of Five Leaves by Natsumo Ono. House of Five Leaves. And I got volumes one, volumes two, is it? Yeah, two, and volumes three. I haven't read this at all, but I really feel like I'm gonna like it. So I got the first three volumes. Another manga that I don't ever see at Indigo. Um, so I was excited to pick this one up. I decided to pick this one up because I have seen people online really like this story and it just seemed right up my alley. So yeah, I got volumes one, two, and three. And um, I think I'll like it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and lastly, but not least, I got volumes one, Volumes two and volumes three of Oku, I think that's how it's pronounced, by Fumi Yoshinaga. Yoshinaga. Um, I as well have heard really good things about this story. I read volume one on, on the Toronto Public Library digitally and I really liked it, so I decided to pick up the next two volumes after that. A very interesting story and I can't wait to get more into it get more into it, is that even English, or get into it more, yeah. <laughs> so that is my uh, shopping locally in Toronto man manga haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I literally uh, bought too much, so I think I bought 16 volumes, which is a bit excessive, but at the same time, you just don't find these volumes, I feel like, at Indigo. Like, I generally, like, I think the most common one of my haul would be would be none literally would be none 
fruits basket if it wasn't so severely out of stock, but that's about it. Like I have not seen any of these volumes at all at Indigo. Yeah. <sighs> not me trying to drop it. Okay. Woo. I am super excited. Ah, my wallet though, she be dying. So I gotta take another break from buy any manga but at the end of the day like i feel so much better about buying it and don't feel as guilty because there's shopping locally as opposed to stupid indigo so i hope you like this video if you did um like share subscribe i don't know <laughs> do whatever you want <laughs> um but yeah um thanks for watching and i'll see y'all sometime soon bye